Right, okay, okay. Right, everybody calm the heck down. Okay, everybody calm the heck down. Everyone's excited, just as excited as I am to get black camo. Oh, look at this. Absolute beast of a camo. Honestly, the tailor did a good job. Honestly, Taylor did a good job. But seriously, I mean, a month and a half into the making. And we finally did it, boys. We finally did it. I'm going to clap myself because no one else will clap me. Honestly, never thought I'd get there. It feels so good. Now nah, I'm just going to leave the game and never come back to it. Ever. No, nah, I'm only joking. But to be fair, there was a guy playing um, Germany's Nazi something or other from Germany 1940. Down the mic and telling me to fucking get bent when I told him to pack it in. Oh man, what, what is this server come to? Now, yes, we've got all the randoms. Oh, I've got something in my eye as well. What the fuck? I got something in my eye because my eyes are sore because I've been at the computer all day. I've been at this big screen. Ah oh, man, my eyes are on fire. But I got, I got the black camo finally. Now, if I could sort my eye out, I will tell you how I did it. Oh, my eyes are dead sore. Oh, I've got some contact lens solution. Maybe that will sort it out. I'm not wearing contacts currently, but feels like it. Put some water in my eye. Some contact lens stuff. Ah, oh, man. I've been, I've been at the computer all day. Honestly. Mate, I've been sweating for the past month and a half over everything I've done. I didn't even know what real life was. When somebody said there's a virus knocking around, I was like, really? There's a virus? I don't know. I've just been getting candy cannon kills for the past, like, four day, four weeks. Like, what what month is it, guys? Somebody said to me yesterday, oh, you do know it's a Saturday. Um, you do know it's a Saturday. I was like, it's a Saturday? And he's like, yeah, it's a Saturday. I was like, oh, my Lord, really? That's why it's so busy in Planetside. Because it's a freaking weekend, and I need to be on Planetside getting kills. Anyway, um, long story short, I didn't even know what year it is. I didn't even know New Year came and went. Like, no one told me. No one told me it was 2021. I mean, when you try to explain to people in real life that you were spending all month trying to get candy cannon kills, or you needed to get this slasher kill, because it was important. Nobody really, nobody really said to you, oh, yes, okay. We understand, Commando. We understand. Go, you know, go and get your slasher kills. Uh, anyway, we've done it now, we've done it, and my eye seems to have sorted itself out. Ah, uh, man. Now, what I'm going to do is talk to you about how I did it and my yeah, methods. Just got to calm myself down just a bit. Just got to calm myself down. Whew. Right. So anyway, this is what the black camo looks like. Now, this is what I'll be wearing on my engine here. Probably from now on, seeing as it took me this long to unlock it. <sighs> Ooh. It took me a long time. And let's have a look what it looks like on the Max. Because... Oh, that looks beast. That looks nice. Looks really nice. Anyway. That's what it looks like on a Heavy. That's what it looks like on... A medic that's pretty cool not gonna lie right so the method I went into to do black camo was was I took the long way around and it's it does take you forever like it seems like it now I was on every day for like a month and a half this is during the pandemic so we had quite good population I guess you could see now there's a video I'm going to post of me getting the final kills and unlocking the directive. Now, I got really lucky and I come across a fight that was rammed. Need to reload. And I must have got around about, I don't know, 70 kills, 200 kills. Just farming this one hill, I think. I think that was it. I'm not too, I can't remember exactly, but. Now, absolute nuts. It was just absolute nuts, this, this directive. You don't you don't concentrate on anything you're doing in real life. You don't even know what week it is. I mean, people say, oh, it's, it's the weekend. You're like, is it really the weekend? I mean, the virus doesn't help, but honestly, 
So I'm just going to go and talk about. So it, oh, it doesn't come up with it because I've done it. But basically, I did the slasher, which is pretty bog standard for a knife and the eyes kill. Um, they are a pain to a rax because they just are. Knives in general are quite a pain. But the one thing I also did, which is also a pain, and this is something that will probably haunt me for the rest of my life. Um, I mean, it's... Where is it? The candy cannon. There we go, the candy cannon. That thing is just the worst. That thing just takes forever to relax. It, it's forever in a weekend. Honestly, I must have spent around about a month just on that alone. And by the end of it, I wanted to, to wrap it around someone's neck. Because you can't, like... And, I mean, props to people on TR and props to people on VS. There's people on VS that knew I was going for the candy cannon directive. They saw me every day, and they didn't chase me around the map, luckily, trying to shoot me in the back of the head. Which was my experience to begin with, because you go to a point, you knife someone and shoot them, then everybody knows you're there. Then you've got the Gestapo after you, you've got, you've got the bloody FBI chasing you around the map, they're tracking you down, they're, they're going around with torches like you've just broke out of jail. They're, they're going around trying to find you. They've got spotlights all over the base, everywhere. And they just hunt you down and shoot you. It's the most annoying thing since slice, since putting peanut butter on sliced bread. I mean, who does that? But seriously, candy cannon. If you're going to go down that route, then you've got to have patience. Not only that, you might need to see a psychiatrist by the time you're finished. Book yourself in with a psychiatrist. Just give yourself a couple of wumps to do the candy cannon directive. Put yourself in, get yourself mentally stable afterwards, because it's crazy. Now, I did do the candy and directive, and it's bog standard stuff. You just have to shoot. Basically, you go up to a terminal, the guys wait to use the terminal, you knife him, you shoot him in the head, and it's job done. Now, you hopefully, if you've got enough, you know, um, if you've got enough chromosomes left by the time you're finished, you can move on to other things like um, knives. Oh, I mean, I did the knives first because I knew the knives were the easiest thing to do. So I did the knives and um, on the heavy assault, just hang on a sec, I did the gallows. Now the gallows, you have to complete the um, finger directive, what is it? The um, bounty directive, that's it. So you have to complete the bounty directive and then you get the gallows. Now, I'm going to let you go and research that, but you have to kill people with a bounty on their head, uh, which can be good or bad, depending. Most of the time, um, I killed people with the bounty directive, and I killed people to get the bounty directive, and it's really hard because a lot of them are good players. But obviously as you progress in the game you get better at aiming and you get better overall and that enables you to then take on better players without getting farmed uh, mainly getting headshots etc so i did get the gallows i got it like a while back now um, i've never used i never ever used it i used it like once and put it away because i thought that you could get the gallows and use it on the engineer as an engineer you know lmg thing but it, it didn't work like that so I ended up putting it away, but I had to get it out for this directive. I had to, you know, dust off the dust off the dust and get it out. So I did this, and the last one I did was this one here, but it doesn't show as an Arax thing. The NSM2, is it? Or is it something else? Ah, here we go. Sorry. Ah, you got the M2 there. I'm confused. Uh, my mind's... My, uh, my brain is fried, because I've just been doing this all day, and it's, it's broke, it broke me getting the same kills over and over and over and over and over so the ns15 mp now i did buy that now my idea was i had 922 daybreak left from buying my armor which is in a pack so this armor here now 
I had 922 direct left. So originally, I was going to wait for the sales at Christmas because I got really lucky. So these, the Slasher and the Ice Kill are holiday weapons. So I got the Slasher during the Halloween and I got the Ice Kill during uh, uh, the Christmas. Now, during Halloween, before the start of Halloween, long time before, I said to somebody, how do you unlock the Slasher? They said it's a Halloween thing. Okay, because I was looking at doing the directive then. Then I said, well, where do you get the ice kill from? How does that, you know, how do you get that? Oh, you get that from Christmas. So I was like, oh, okay. So literally it was round the corner from Halloween. So uh, all the way through Halloween and before Halloween, well, just before, like on the day of Halloween, I unlocked the slasher and I started erasing it from the day of Halloween. Now the ice kill, I started straight after the slasher, literally. Didn't even have five minutes in between. I equipped the ice kill and went straight at it again. And I did that non-stop. Uh, now the gallows, I'd already started erasing the gallows a long time before the ice kill or the slasher because I had that a while back. So I managed to get that, um, start erasing that. Now I didn't, I, I only got something like 200 kills with it or 300 kills, but I was doing that in between doing the slasher and the ice kill because it, it to, for me, sticking at one thing for a long period of time, it, it breaks me. Uh, I lose concentration on the game and I get bored. So I started doing all three kind of, sometimes I do a bit of the slasher, sometimes I do a bit of the ice kill, but overall um, I stuck with the slasher and then I stuck with um, the gallows. Now I was wait. I was thinking to myself, if Christmas comes and I get the solo um, sales coming on for guns, then that's good. So yeah, I didn't, um, there wasn't any sales this year for some reason. I mean, probably they're hard up on cash, so they can't have a sale. Maybe Daybreak daybreak Games or whatever it's called. They're just like, yeah, we can't do a sale this year. But, um, so I didn't, I actually had to pay full price. Um, but the thing was, I had 922 Daybreak, so I wanted to basically try and get a gun for around that. Now, I was going to buy the pistol originally. There's a pistol in the store. But I just thought to myself, I'll pay an extra £4 or 5 quid or whatever it was buy myself 500 daybreak, but I was 80 daybreak short, so I had to go higher than that. So now I have 423 daybreak, kind of left. Um, so with that said, I bought my last gun, and that's how I did it. Now, it is a pain in the arse, guys, but, you know, it's meant to be a pain in the arse. It's not meant to be easy. Those that have araxiumed it, some of 90% of the people have not stat padded it luckily but um people do stat pad this directive and it's quite sad to see that but other than that um well i don't know if actually people have stat padded the black camo but i've seen people going for the ice kill and the slashes um on certain places on the map i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go into that but yeah so you go to certain places and you see people doing it and it's quite sad but for me, personally, it's been a pain in the ass to do. It's not easy. I mean, I know it's not meant to be easy, but still, you know. So, yeah. So, that's really it for me to talk about. I'm probably going to take a couple of days off the game just to relax because it's been a struggle. Get my sanity back and get back in the, the saddle and get on Planet Side. Planet Side has been so busy this past couple of days it's not even funny it's been amazing it really has it's been absolutely amazing so you know i can't thank you enough to joy for for you know doing stuff for vs you've got uvv is it vs outfit uvvs sdn couple of guys tcu warg task force um, LBF, Opta Outfit, you guys are making it what it is. You're making it busy, you're bringing everybody together, you're keeping people in your faction, you're making it busy, you just, overall the game's amazing right now to play. So if you're a series player and you've left and you're thinking about coming back, then what are you waiting for? I mean, I'm not joking, get your ass back here, get on planet side, it's really busy right now, get yourself into the game more. It's honestly, it is so 
crazy right now. Who's this guy? Hello there, my friend. Right, I'm going to get going, guys. I'm going to leave it there, and I will see you soon.